Good morning. How is everybody doing? I'm making some breakfast and I wanted y'all to join me. I have some a sad little green onion here. Try to get all the yucky stuff off. I was trying to see if anybody would join me while I'm cooking my breakfast this morning. So if you're watching the replay, I'm cutting up this green onion to go in my breakfast. There's one person. <clears throat> I can't see who you are though. I don't know who you are. Y'all are surprise guests. It's so weird how Facebook works. Hey, Shelby, I can see that it's there. You're on there, girlfriend. How you? Ha how's it going? Shelby, have you closed on the house yet? Every time you, you post a picture, I'm looking, seeing if y'all moved in. I know that is a slow process. Oh, let me get that off. Okay, so <clears throat> there's a handful of you guys. So what I'm doing is I'm making my breakfast, and I just had a little idea this morning. Um, my menu plan says sweatpants oatmeal, but y'all know that I stopped using oats or I'll tell you. I stopped using oats for a while just to kind of help with my stomach. Um, <clears throat> let me cook another little spray. Oh, there it is. And so I'm really, I was really nervous to do that, do that this morning. So I am doing a, um, and I really, really wanted some eggs, but I wanted to do an e-breakfast. So, um, oh, this spray has seen better days. I'm gonna do kind of like a, I think it's like an egg in a hole, egg basket thing. Hoping to hear something today. Gotcha. Okay, so I have two pieces of sprouted grain bread. This is bread that was bought at Whole Foods a long time ago and I had it in the freezer. Um, oh shoot, it's backwards, I'm sorry. It's called Silver Hills Sprouted Power Max Flax Sprouted Wheat Bread. And it falls um, under the guidelines. Let me find where the ingredients are. Oh, shucks. Oh, there they are. Organic sprouted whole wheat is the first ingredient. So, check. That's good. And then it has um, one sugar per slice. So, check. That's good. And then on the carb count, it's 18 grams of carbs per slice, but it has 5 grams dietary fiber. So it's only 13 net carbs. So it's 23 net carbs for this meal. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to heat my, start my heat pan going over here. Maybe. Ooh, that didn't look good. Okay, I think it's all right. All right, and then I have this little, it's just from Rada um, Cutlery. I got this. My girls did a little fundraiser. So I'm gonna cut a hole. So I saw a Facebook video. Y'all know how they those little things they pop up like after you finish watching one, and they did this with a whole egg. But I'm doing this in E mode, so I'm gonna use egg whites. And so this is where I got the idea for this. So I'm just cutting a hole out, and I'm gonna put my bread in my pan, and um. I'm going to let this kind of get heated up a little bit to kind of get it toasty. It's flat in there. And I'm going to add egg whites, um, a sprinkle of these green onions that I cut up, a sprinkle of cheese, and a sprinkle of these bacon bits. Now, a tablespoon of these bacon crumbles are uh, so, um, one and a half grams. So I'm good on fat from the bacon and the sprinkle of cheese, okay? And then when I get done with that, I'm gonna saute up some spinach because I really love to have non-starchy vegetables in my breakfast. I've already had um, one cup of coffee and I'll probably get another one. So that's what I'm doing. And then I also have some strawberries that I will have along with this. Okay, so I wanna make sure that this is nice and flat when I pour my egg whites. Actually, let me shake these up real quick. I don't know why, but I really like to shake things up. Hey, everybody, there's so many people on here. Hey, Jesse. Okay, I'm making my breakfast. All right, so I'm gonna pour the egg whites here. All right, they kind of um, scurried along one little spot. I'm okay with that. 
It's all right. I will still eat it. All right. Oh, that one did perfect. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sprinkle my green onions there inside each hole. And I'll move the camera in a second and let y'all look at this. Oh, I missed some. You got to get all of them. We are not wasting food here right now. Y'all know what I'm saying? All right, so now I'm just going to get um, just about that much in each one. Just breaking crumbles. Just a few more for the other one. We did share. All right, just a little bit. Because I do not want to go over my fat and have a crossover. I want a good E this morning with some flavor. Now I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of cheese, not much. And this is just some that Wes picked up, I think, at the pig. It's shredded mild cheddar, is all it is. Okay, so now what we're going to do is sprinkle some salt in there and pepper. This is going to be good, y'all. I'm excited. Holy cow, there's 27 people watching me. <laughs> y'all having a good morning? I sent the boys upstairs. I said, okay, guys, Mama's about to go live. I'm going to need y'all to go upstairs. And around comes Katie, the amazing, and says, hey, Mom, I'm already done with school. I can take them up there and watch them. Okay. And now what these people did, let me show you. Hold on. Doesn't that look great? See, I kind of, some of it kind of got extra, but that's okay. We'll fix it. All right, so now I'm going to um, separate them. Separate this egg off of here. And then I'm going to put the top on and flip it over. That is warm. Let me turn that down. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to put the top right there. Flip it over. Let you see. Y'all, this is going to be good. I'm so excited. Look. Ah, I'll type the recipe out for you guys, too. Hey, Jessica. Okay, so, Jessica, what I did is I got two pieces of sprouted green bread, and then, uh, which I had bought, uh, actually, Jennifer had bought for me a long time ago at Whole Foods, and I've been storing it, hoarding it in my freezer, and I'm about out now, but, um, I cut the holes out of the middle of it, and then I poured in egg whites. I sprinkled some cheese, a little bit of cheese, and a little bit of bacon crumbles. And then I did salt, pepper, and nutritional yeast. And I also had cut up a green onion. It was a small amount in this bowl and sprinkled it for some flavor. And so now I'm just letting it get um, good and crispy on the bottom. It looks great. Look at that. Can y'all see? Oh my gracious, this is gonna be delicious. Okay, now I'm going to spray a little bit more coconut oil here, right there, and do up my spinach. I normally get the big tubs, but Wes has just been going in the pig, which is, if you're not familiar with our area, it's a very small grocery store that's local to our little town. And um, they don't have the big containers of spinach right now. So he's just been getting me bags and bags of spinach. I'm just going to season that up and then I'm going to get my tongs and toss it around. Let's see. I need to grab my tongs from over here, guys. Okay. So I'm pretty much just steaming this up. There's still a piece of egg white in here. A little extra. Okay. I'm going to let that cook a little bit and cut up these strawberries. Yes, this would be an E. It's gonna be about 23 grams of carb, which is not high on the high end of an E meal, but I'm okay with that. These strawberries have seen better days, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat them this morning. Hey, Brenda, you're so welcome. All right. So is everybody hanging in there? I know it's been tough, all this sheltering in place business. 
I'm going to make up the boys and Katie's little snack packs in a minute. Did y'all see that? So I, um, I saw it on another thing that I saw on the Facebook. I saw this little idea on Facebook also. Um, is get a box, and any kind of box or a container. Well, right now, I'm just like foraging for whatever I have at home. So I had a bunch of Amazon boxes from Bella's birthday, and so we labeled them with all the little kids' names and put them in uh, the pantry. But I'm going to pull out the boys and Katie's boxes today. I don't have Sarah and Paisley today, my nieces. They'll be here tomorrow. But... Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill up the boxes with some snacks for them. Oh my gosh, y'all, this breakfast is going to be awesome. Include your non-starchies in your breakfast, guys, and get a little head start. Yay! Yum. Y'all, this is going to be delicious. Okay, so that's my breakfast. I hope y'all enjoyed, and be looking out on the little picture of the kids' um, snack boxes later. We'll do it later. I'm going to eat right now. Y'all have a great day. Bye.